Can I talk about my bonus? Yes, I'm, I'm waiting for it. I'm ready. Well, I'm listening to you guys before trash Catherine Heigl, and I had the greatest experience working with her. I was reading an article. Now, listen, this article <laughs> that came Catherine out Heigl. was because, and you know how the press works. There was She sold a show last week to NBC. Great. Everybody loves, oh, my gosh, NBC loves this show's going to be very cool. Sounds like a great premise. So what do people do? Hey, let's rip her down a few days later. So they write this article about Grey's Anatomy. We're still talking about why she left Grey's Anatomy how many years ago? You know, and the whole theory, like honestly, because look, we all have reputations, whether they're true or not, but but we did we did this romantic, not a romantic comedy, very dark comedy that we shot this uh, spring called North of Hell. Very, very funny, bizarre movie. And she plays something totally different than she's ever played. Um, Crazy, so much fun. Me, her, and, and Jim Belushi, it's crazy cast. And Jordana Brewster, super fun, super, super wonderful, wonderful experience. And she was, not only all those things like, oh, she was late, never came out of her trailer, nothing. She showed up, worked her tail off, super funny, super gracious, great to the cast, great to the crew, you know, and, and was a total pro, you know, and she's someone that's been doing it forever. And, you know, you walk away and you go, well, that's a great, great actress and a great, person to work with, and I'd work with her again in a heartbeat. So I have to defend her because she it couldn't have been a better experience. A lot of the reports coming out about her, you know, you mentioned Grey's Anatomy from a while back right. and knocked up, but these were comments that she was said to have made after the film. You've talked yeah. about well, how no, there's she no like doubt. knocked up afterwards because, you know, maybe it was anti-feminist or that. Sure. The writing wasn't good, so she pulled herself out of yeah. the Emmy nom. So it, and we, you have every right to sort of, listen, I say things, people judge me, and, and I'm not defending, you know, it's not like we're like best friends. We worked together and had a great experience you know um, but I wouldn't of course and, and I'm sure she she knows look she's a smart woman she, she knows if she said things that she sh shouldn't have said or made mistakes like okay you live and you learn and Hollywood uh, and the press like to remind you of that and that's fine but also we are in such a a, a, a business that um, and I think a country really without getting too deep but you know, with people that make mistakes, if you come back and you work hard, I, I honestly do believe that it that y you you turn that around, and it starts with, truthfully, it starts probably with little things like you know what, showing up, doing this, doing your job, and doing your gig, and you just gotta be be very humble about it and work your way back up. And I see that, and I see that you see that with a lot of people, but you know, you look at how, where Robert Downey Jr. was so many years ago. Take a step back, and then you go, oh right, he's actually a really good actor. Maybe he did some not questionable things, illegal things, but here we are.